the traitor has lured the Davidson expedition into Bremer's trap in the catacombs of Zolo's. The Phantom tries to rescue them. The Phantom's down there with the rest of them. How about let me take a shot at him? Certainly not. Let them all find out there's another exit up here. Hurry up with that charge. I'm almost ready. Well, we'll get out of here and let Drake finish his work. And make it good. I'd like to see an egg crawl through here after the explosion. By the way, how did you find your way here? Byron showed us. He said you were in the catacombs waiting for us, so we came with him. That's a lie. I never saw him for the time he sneaked away until he came back with you now. Talking to me about me won't help you any. Put down that gun. I'm working for a man now who isn't going to give all the Zola's treasure to a university. Get back there, you. You're a fool as well as a traitor. I tricked you into coming here. I stopped you just long enough so you couldn't get out through that door. And now I'm leaving by a tunnel which I told you wasn't there. You're crazy, I tell you. The man you're working for will kill you as soon as he's finished using you. Yes. I'd rather take my chances with him than with you. <laughs> care of himself. Take it easy now. You've been badly hurt. Hi, right, fella. You all right, old boy? That's a wonder both of you weren't killed. Byron, what happened to him? I should never have let him come with us on this expedition. This is no time to think about that now. Let's see what we can do for him. Completely blocked. Byron's done for. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there any chance of us getting out of here? Never give up hope, Professor. I never do. We'll try and find a way out of here somehow. Well, I did a great job, Doc, even if I have to admit it myself. Now, what's so marvelous about blowing up a tunnel? Well, that isn't what I mean. Besides sealing up Davidson and the girl, I knocked off Byron and the Phantom. Are you sure, or have you caught the disease called no more phantom? Oh, stop your clowning, Doc. Why, I saw those two guys buried under tons of rock and dirt they'll never dig themselves out of. Well, that's fine, Drake. I'd almost begun to believe that bunk myself about the phantom being immortal. What's our next move, Doc? Well, we have to finish that airfield. But to do that, we need native labor. Well, the phantoms fix it so the natives won't work for us. That's right. But the new phantom's going to change things. The new phantom? Huh? I have this specially made for the occasion. See, I want the natives to be happy with their phantom, but this time he's going to be my man. The phantom's dead. Long live the phantom. Go ahead, drive right on, Chris. <laughs> nice thinking, Doc. <laughs> Come in here and see what I discovered. Looks like the corner of an old chest. The explosion must have loosened this block. Let's see if we can get it out. <coughs> the treasure chest. Just our luck to find it and then not be able to get out of here with it. <coughs> it's empty. Wait a minute. The mark of the phantom. One of my forefathers must have removed whatever treasure there was and left our seal as a receipt. But why a receipt? The law permits those who find a treasure to keep it. Yes, I know that. But I'm beginning to suspect that the Tunga treasure which has been put into my custody originally came from here. That sounds reasonable. Maybe I can substantiate your theory when you show your treasure to me. By the way, to whom does the treasure belong? You or the natives? My father turned it over to me with the understanding, however, that I use it only to help the natives. 
speaking of the natives, I wish they were here to help us now. Yeah, so do I. Well, how do I look? You're his twin. Here, try this on. Hey, what about the Phantom's trademark? What do you mean? The ring, stupid. Here you are. Catch. Doc, you've done a wonderful job duplicating the outfit, but Chris's voice doesn't sound any more like the Phantom's, and the wolf sounds like a canary bird. It's all right. I anticipated that difficulty. Baraka and Drake, I'm holding you responsible for Davidson and his niece. Feed them, but don't leave them out of the catacombs. Long you and Martian come with Chris and me, and don't let yourselves be seen. I can stand going without food, but I wish they'd give us some water. And I wish that you had taken my advice and stayed at Tongo instead of disobeying me. Don't say that. No matter what happens, I'm glad to be here with you. You still think you know a way to get us out of here, don't you? I do. My plan depends entirely on someone coming down here to see what happened to us. You mean they left us down here to die? There's no doubt about it. In case someone should come down here, here's what we'll do. Now, you both understand what I mean? Hope they don't grumble about the grub. <laughs> and don't forget, be ready with your gun. Out the door, I got my hands full. Well, if we'd have known the Phantom was keeping you company, we'd have come sooner. He, he's dead. You don't have to tell me. I'm the one that killed him. Then at least be decent enough to take the body out of here. Yes, get him out of here. I'll carry him if somebody will help me sling him up. <laughs> Time to be dragging you around through the jungle. <laughs> you ain't gone through no jungle. Phantom, he come. Welcome, Dr. Bremer. Welcome back, Master. Phantom, not well, Moku. Throat, very bad. I talk for him, you understand? What happened, Phantom? I was flying from Saipan and Thunderbird. My plane caught on fire and crashed in the jungle. The Phantom came there and saved me. Master, very brave man. He is indeed, Moku. To rescue me, he had to breathe flames which burned his throat. You fix him with white man medicine? Oh, yes, yes. He'll be all right in a few days. But his voice might not sound quite the same at first. Well, Moku, very happy Phantom meet you again. Where is Devil and three friends? Oh, he's with the professor and the others back at Zolus. We wait here for them? No, we start back for Tonga tonight. We get many warriors to help them with big diggings. Can do easy. Suba call all tribes, get plenty strong men. We go pretty quick. It's fine, Moku. Ciao, ciao, mahal. Come on, be down. Say Phantom call all chiefs of all tribes to Tonga. Last time Phantom called, Chota not go. Phantom come to Mala village and make trouble for Chota. This time Chota go to Tonga. Make trouble for Phantom. Call our warriors. We go. Come, follow Choto.
Now I understand why Moku and the porters didn't wait for us. Did the drums tell you that? They say the Phantom is calling the chiefs of all tribes to Tonga for a council. How could that be possible? Very simple. Someone is convinced I'm dead and has taken my place. But who could that be? I'm certain it's the man who's behind all our troubles. Well, then you must get to Tonga at once and assert your right. Come, let's hurry. You cannot see, Phantom. That's the third time you've told me that. Master Sick, cannot talk. You saw Moku. He tell you why Phantom called Chiefs. Now, you seem to forget that the Phantom is my best friend, and I know he'll be glad to see me. Master say he cannot see Rusty now. We'll see after council. He did, eh? You wait here with the people. He see you after ceremony. You bet he'll see me. Well, I hope Bummer and Chris get away with this. certainly look authentic. Might as well get used to this. You're the phantom from now on. Master, the chief's very anxious for you to appear. All right, Suba, I won't keep him any longer. Well, thanks a lot for everything. All right, phantom, do your stuff. I'll be watching you. Rudy, you follow to Tonga? We're not very far from the village now. These men will take you there safely. You stay here, devil. See you later. Come on. Chiefs of all the tribes, Suba has told you why the Phantom cannot speak to you today. Your leader's voice is in a state of temporary collapse. I am Dr. Bremer, speaking for your leader these words of wisdom. Listen to them well and obey the orders of the man who never dies. Your leader has just discovered the lost city of Zolus. He wants to rebuild that city. But he needs many warriors to help him clear the jungle. Hey, this is where we came in. Yeah, and this is where we're getting out. I don't think so. Come on, Reach. Out this way, both of you. Come on. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Get on your feet. Chiefs, leaders, men of wisdom and knowledge. I've called you here to assure you once more that the peace of the jungle will be kept. I have destroyed all evil forces that have tried to create unrest among you. Their leader here lies defeated. He bears my mark in payment for his treachery. <laughs> I want you to remember me always by this token from the Phantom's treasure. 
I'll never forget you. But I'm not leaving here. I intend to stay on with Uncle while he continues his work at Zolos. And don't you dare forget to drop in on Rusty whenever you visit Saipana. <laughs>